How do you get all? Wayne from Wayne's World in downtown Leesburg coming at you live from my downtown basement studio. Uh, I do something that I kind of made up called the finger picking warm up. And basically, uh, that concept is can I hold my guitar correctly with the neck angle going on? I, I have a strap on because I teach with my guitar all day and I don't necessarily have a footstool around and I want to be able to walk around from student to student in a classroom situation. So I have my guitar hung on me. Um, I'm taking my ring finger and putting it on the first string and my middle finger on the second string and then my pointer finger on the third string and my thumb on the fourth string. So basically, if you don't know this yet, Pima, P-I-M-A, here's your P finger, your I finger, your M finger, your A finger for your right hand. And this keeps it different from your left hand, which you have finger one, two, three, four, okay? So numbers in one hand, your fretting hand, okay? And finger uh, names, finger letters, for your picking hand. So, I'm putting my hand on here. What I try to teach my students is, can you come in comfortably to your guitar? And your hand was made to be nice and round. Can you basically, and I guess beforehand, I call this the princess wave. I stole this from somebody, I'm sure. Okay, basically I'm trying to take my three fingers and scratch. Okay, and when you play the guitar, you're basically scratching and doing that. And then your thumb finger is always trying to go by those three fingers. They're never supposed to implode and touch each other, which is basically how most young guitar students play, and truthfully how I played some years ago, and I still have a little bit of that in me, so I apologize if you see my hand technique, all of you masterful players that are out there, that this is horrible, um, or not quite as good as yours. I'm still a work in progress, okay? So, three fingers are going to pull up on the highest three strings, strings one, two, and three, and your thumb is going to push down. I often think of like spinning a bottle cap. So if I've got a student who struggles with keeping these two fingers together too much, I try to have them imagine that they're spinning a bottle cap in their hand. And right at that point, that's more where I want their hand to be. Okay? And so basically I'm getting a nice even sound with all four fingers and all the four strings. And that nice resonance of my E and my A string ring. one of those front porch exercises, this just sounds awesome. Instead of trying to play on the tips of your fingers, you're trying to roll a little this way, okay? A little bit on the edge so you can grab a little bit of your nail and a little bit of the flesh at the same time. If you're here, you tend to be fleshy or if your fingernails are too long, it can be naily too, but I kind of like a little bit of grab on both. Um, I don't know whether this is correct. I call this the English style. I'm a bass player also and I play straight up as a bass player although I should be playing on this side. And I call this French style. I read a book somewhere that the French in the old days used to play this way. This is very obnoxious to me. You get a lot of fingernail and just a lot of bite. And this just tends to be a little bit of flesh and bite at the same time, a very pleasing sound, okay? So we're going for that. And notice my wrist, I'm trying to bring my hand in straight, relaxed and comfortable right across my tone hole is where my fingertips are sitting. big muscle here as opposed to little tiny muscles instead of trying to claw at your guitar strings and waste so much energy I'm literally flicking my biggest muscle and then it comes back so fast that if you tremolo, not that I can, okay, you actually have more control of that. Um, I also try to get the top of my hand to be flat or a little bit leaning up towards my, I'm over leaning here towards my face so I can see, basically I can see my ring finger, my middle finger and ring finger knuckle as I play if I were to look down, okay? And so basically, so here's my home position that I have my students do and I play four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. I'm doing a free stroke so instead of landing on each string, I'm actually trying to float over the string. stroke. We, in a previous video, I had you stopping and muting the strings. When you push your finger down into a string and you stop on the next string, the guitar has a beautiful warm texture to it. Okay? Um, the free stroke is actually not doing that and we're trying to lift our fingers up off of it. Okay? So instead of a rest stroke where we're stopping against the string, 
we're actually freely pulling in the air and you get a little bit more mid-range out of your guitar by doing this a little bit more cut instead of being a warmer sound where you're actually trying to push your fingers down into the string okay so can we try this Pima warm up again so we go P I If you have a metronome, you can put it on 60. I love slow, uh, I love methodic tempos. I hate to say the word slow to a student. Drives everybody crazy. One, then two, then groove and go. You got thumb and index, middle and ring, P and I am, M and A, or four and three and two and one. You just gotta do this four times in a row. Then when you think you got it, my thumb down to the fifth string, and basically I am teaching my hand to keep three fingers on the same string, strings three, two, and one, and I am teaching my hand how to open up, and my thumb can play down to string six, so I'm teaching my hand how to kind of open up and close, so when I put a pick in it, I know exactly where I am when I'm picking, or I can finger pick better, okay? So, try that, going up in fours. One fun thing you can do is, can you accent something? So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Can you accent beat three now? So that's basically we're in two four time or we're in four four time. These could be eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Then, cool one. Can you go up three notes, down three notes, up three strings, down three strings? Basically, I'm going four, three, two, one, two, three, string four up to string one. And you get a six eight pattern. Six eight is defined as a time signature where you have six eighth notes in a measure. I was going to do the, but anyhow, six, okay? I want you to think of it as three plus three. It's a triplet. Triplet, 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 triplet. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I like it. It's got a yin, yang, a left, a right, a statement,
and enjoy this kind of messing around. Even if you start off slower, it is awesome because you will one day be able to fly as you play. And when you add chords to it, it just sounds so pretty when you actually roll through stuff. Okay? People will be impressed. I'll be impressed. You'll be impressed.